So there's $160 profit right there, just on those four sets. This whole aisle, all of this stuff is clear. Now there is just tons and tons of stuff. So this is why I like shopping at night. This whole aisle is clearance toys that has not been touched. Let's go ahead and take a look here. We've got some Thomas and Friends, Trains and Cranes, Super Power Tower. This is 55 bucks. This was 100, so that seems like a huge discount, 45 bucks off. Got some of these elephants. Now, I looked these up on Amazon and I couldn't actually find the correct listing. So, unfortunately, I am going to have to pass on these, but it did look like those were a pretty good deal. These guys are 9 bucks as well. That seems like a pretty good deal. These Mega Blocks are $10, normally 25, and I feel like that's a pretty good deal. I might have to pick up some of these. I don't really sell many Mega Blocks. It was kind of loud, so I'm going to do a little voiceover for this video. The Mega Blocks were selling for $25 FBA, and there was only one FBA seller, so I checked and just kind of made sure, but there was only one FBA seller. The rank was really good. This was like 300 in toys. That means it's going to sell really, really fast. And then I opened it up to use the calculator, and you can type in the price that you're going to sell it for, minus the Amazon fees, and then minus your cost gives you the estimated profit. And it was an estimated profit of almost six bucks a piece. That's not a huge profit. I mean, it's 50%, but the fees are kind of high. So I might grab those just for a easy $5 a piece profit, but there's not hardly, there's like one FBA seller on those. So I bet those would sell super quick. So these, it's another good deal, 25 bucks. It seems like a good deal to me. They've got some kinetic sand for 10 bucks a piece. This seems like an amazing deal. This is 55 bucks, normally 200 for this Blue's Clues cook-along kitchen. Now this is kind of big. I did look this up on Amazon and I couldn't find it, so I think I'm going to pass on these right here. But let's see what else we've got. We've got Paw Patrol, huge ultimate city tower. 75 bucks was 150, so that's 50% off. That seems like a really good deal. Again, this is kind of a big item, so I wouldn't want to FBA that. The fees would really eat it up. So I'm probably going to pass on all this big stuff. But I wanted to show you guys that you know, there is a lot of toys right now on clearance. And this is why I love shopping at night because there is nobody here and I'm the first one to look at all this stuff. So let's see what else we've got. We got some LOL. I can't sell LOL on Amazon, so I'm gonna pass on those. VTech, I didn't really look these up. It says 29 was 58. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan it with the Amazon seller app. Go ahead and scan it. And it's selling for 30 bucks, so no. <laughs> that does not look like a good price let's see let's check the price yeah 30 44 so yeah this is not worth picking up right here um so we'll go ahead and put that back board games not a huge discount right there lol i can't sell lol stuff and more blues clues stuff right here and they're kind of big so i'm probably gonna pass on those too the only thing really that i'm considering is grabbing these mega blocks because those are you know 50 percent roi it looks like they're going to sell really quick so i might grab some of those don't worry i won't grab all of them but yeah so this is a great way to start off this shopping trip let's check out some more aisles and see what else we can find so naturally we have to check out the clearance aisle and it is stacked there is tons of stuff in the clearance aisle i haven't taken the chance to scan anything this is the first time i'm seeing it with you guys so we're just kind of looking at it together all right, so there was a ton of stuff in the clearance aisle, so we're going to quickly run through and see if we can find anything worth grabbing. The musical was kind of loud, so doing more voiceover stuff. These Mr. Chills, these were 25 normally 50 but it was not worth picking up for Amazon, maybe if they were like 5 or 10 bucks. They had a lot of cell phone cases. Those are not really worth picking up. I don't really pick those up too often. Just had some random stuff, hardware stuff. They had some inflatable beds. They had Elf advent calendar. And they had clearance stuff that wasn't even in the clearance aisle. So you always want to make sure you're checking the end caps for clearance stuff. They had cups over here. They had some winter tablecloths for only 25 cents a piece. I thought those were a pretty good deal because I think those are disposable tablecloths. And it had more cups. I think they had some bowls, some Pioneer Woman stuff. And we're going to keep looking around because there is more clearance over here. Now we're going to go over here and check out this other end cap because I see a green manager special sign. And that usually means that a store is running its own special promotion. And those, you're not going to find at every store, but those coffee makers weren't worth grabbing. 
Looks like they had some Ryan's toys here that were on clearance and the discount wasn't good enough, unfortunately. So we're gonna keep running through the clearance and see if we can't find anything worth grabbing. Batman mask, because everyone wants to be Batman. Uh, I always do check the vitamins and they had some, looks like prenatal vitamins back here, but uh, those weren't worth picking up. I did check all of these mice. <laughs> I did check these mice over here. These were six bucks a piece. Those weren't worth picking up. That was a Walmart brand. I did see these Christmas pops. I thought these were kind of cool because these were uh, 2021. And because of that, that means that they're not going to be made again because those were specifically for 2021. So uh, check the price on these guys right here. And uh, I definitely think these are going to go up in value over time. Uh, I don't normally invest in pops, but I wanted to grab something because, uh, you know, I was kind of disappointed to look through this entire clearance aisle and not find anything good so far. But we do find some really good stuff coming up next. So it's, you don't want to get discouraged. You always want to take the time to scan everything. These little unicorns over here were six sixty six. dollars Someone checked those. And on Amazon, they were selling for about the same. So those weren't worth picking up either. The Barbies weren't really marked down too much. They did have some other pops that weren't worth picking up. We're going to go ahead and check these dolls out real quick. I think these were uh, on Walmart for 15 bucks a piece. And they're selling for 25 on Amazon. And then after fees and stuff, you're not really going to make much on these. So you always have to consider that when you're looking at items to ship to Amazon. You have to consider how big they are. Usually the bigger items cost more uh, Amazon will charge you more for the pick and pack fees and the shipping fees and selling fees and stuff like that. So a lot of things to consider when you're sending stuff to Amazon. But overall, this clearance aisle has a lot of stuff in it, but there's not a lot of stuff for me to buy to resell. So we are going to go check out the toy clearance soon. Cool. I'm going to take one more look around and see if I can find anything else. Yeah, they've got... Uh... 69 was 150 that seems like a good deal so i'm gonna do one more quick scan and we'll see if there's anything else and then uh let you guys know what i find all right looks like we're killing it tonight because i've already found another toy aisle full of clearance tons and tons of clearance check this out these guys are 650 normally 1388 for these care bears that's a really good deal on these care bears these minecraft things they're 11 bucks they're normally 20 so this is a pretty good deal too. I already looked these up. I might have to grab some of those. They've got some other really good stuff. We've got some Mickey 11 was 20. Rock and roller skates, uh, all sorts of stuff. We got more blues clues and Melissa and Doug. This is 10 was 21. I think these are gonna be a really good deal. I'm gonna have to grab a whole bunch of these. This is 13, normally 50 for Rhea. I couldn't find a listing on Amazon, so unfortunately I'm going to have to pass on that. We've got some more Encanto stuff. 25 bu 45 bucks was 78 Littlest Pets, uh, 19 was 25 But yeah, there is just tons and tons of stuff. So like this whole aisle, all of this stuff is clearance. And some of it's marked, some of it's not marked. So I've, I've had to use the Walmart app to be scanning stuff. Check this out. Nerf gun, 25 bucks was 60. So that's more than 50% off. That's a really good deal on something like this. This looks like an awesome deal. So this is a huge doll. I didn't even know they made dolls this big, but it's 20 bucks was 94. And this is selling on Amazon for like 75 bucks. So I'm definitely gonna have to grab those. Yeah, so these dolls right here, uh, FBA are selling for like 70 bucks. So each one of these is gonna be like a $25 profit. And all I have to do is put a sticker on it and put it in a box. So those are gonna be uh, some easy money right there. Let's check this Barbie. I didn't check this Barbie already. So let's see if this one's on sale. Barbie is 17 for a giant Barbie. Let's see if this is a good deal or not. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, it looks like it is. We're selling for 50 bucks, so 17, make $12 profit per Barbie. The only thing that I don't like is that how big the boxes are. Also, you have to be really careful because look, this one right here, this one is damaged. I didn't do this right here, but that one's damaged. So if I do grab those, I'll grab two of them, but I won't grab the damaged one. So that's why it's important to always look really closely when you're buying stuff, retail arbitrage, because the items might be damaged. 
So I'm gonna spend some more time scanning stuff and looking at prices to see what else we can find. We also have to look at the Legos because I know they have some really good deals on Legos right now. Lego right now. Let's see, so the Care Bears, I wanna show you guys these Care Bears real quick. I can scan one, let's see. All right, so the Care Bear, the rank is phenomenal, 323 in toys, and they're selling for about 18 bucks uh, FBA. So let's see, let's say 18 bucks FBA, and they're 650. And this is a five dollar profit on each one of those, and those are going to be super easy. You just put a label on it, throw it uh, in a box, and send to FBA, and good to go. So might even raise the price a little bit. But yeah, the rank is phenomenal. Those are going to sell quick. That's easy money right there. And then we're going to go check out Lego and we'll see what else we can find. So we'll grab some more. I will leave a couple just in case anybody else wants to find some Care Bears. All right, look at that. Whole bunch of Care Bears. Easy money. All those guys just need to be... Uh, Put a label on them, throw them in a box, and good to go. And we did leave one up here, so if anyone wants one, left one up there for you. I'm gonna look through this stuff and see what else we can find that's worth grabbing. One, 24 of them, right? 156. Now, we're off to a good start. I got 24 of those Care Bears. After fees, shipping, and all that stuff, I should make $5 profit per Care Bear. That should be $120 profit on just that first cartload. Now, it's time to look at Lego because you know that's the real reason that I'm here. Also, these aren't actually marked as clearance, but these are on clearance as well. These are $17, normally like 30. And it's kind of a cool little toy. I could sell them on Amazon, but the profit would only be like five bucks. So there's not enough for return on it for me. But I am a big fan of the Book of Boba Fett show. If you watch it too, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of it so far. A lot of these older sets are gonna be a little bit discounted. And some of them, I don't know what's going on over there. Some of them are gonna be a good deal to resell now. Other ones are gonna be a good one to invest, to buy and hold for later. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for the sets that I know are gonna be on discount and I will scan them and I'll show you guys the discounts that we're looking for. But like this set right here, you don't see this set too often because this is, uh, I believe this is discontinued. So I think this should be about 40 bucks. Grievous, 68. It's probably a little bit cheaper on that one too. So let's scan a couple of these. That's High Fighters 32, but I'm gonna pass because I've got a bunch of those. <laughs> so here's the Y-Wing right here. Go ahead and scan that. And the Y-Wing is showing up for 42. And it looks like it's normally 70 bucks. So on Amazon, it's selling for 60 right now. So this would be an okay pickup if I wanted to hold it long term. Uh, the box is a little bit beat up, so I'm probably going to pass on this one right here. Let's check Grievous' ship, because I think this one's been discontinued. Let's go ahead and check that real quick. That one's saying 51, and the, the other merchants on Walmart are selling it for 120, so I bet this is inflated on Amazon too. So on Amazon... This is actually selling for 96 and at 51 it's a $25 profit, so it's a 50% ROI, but I would probably hold it for six months to a year. So 50% ROI, I'm fine with that on Lego, so I'm going to grab that. Normally I like to double my money, but this would be an easy sale, plus I like this set. I don't really think I have too many of them in my stockpile. A fine addition to my collection. What do we say? We're going to pass on this. We'll check this Millennium Falcon real quick. Maybe we'll get lucky and see that one on sale. Yeah, 128, normally 160. Not a good enough discount. So let's see what else. So I think this one's on clearance too. This is the final duel. And I think this one is either retired or gonna retire soon. Let's check it. Yeah, this one's 6675 and it's normally 90. So not a huge discount, but I don't have any of these in my portfolio so i kind of want to grab it and it's selling for 110 right now so it's already inflated past the msrp so i think now is the time to grab it so it's 66 bucks looks like this one's a little bit beat up so 
unfortunately we're going to leave that one but i think we'll grab the other two and then we'll leave one in case another star wars fan comes by and wants to grab one at a discount so go ahead and leave that one up there and i'm going to do some more scanning on this stuff i don't want to have to just keep running it like this uh this one i do think this is another one that we're going to have to grab today and I'll show you why, because I'm pretty sure this one's on clearance as well, unmarked clearance. And it's showing for $68.49. This is normally a $100 set. So let's see, I'm pretty sure it's inflated on Amazon too. So on Amazon, it's already selling for $133. Bucks. So let's see, $133, $133. Paying 63, it's already a $40 profit per set. So there's four of them right there. So there's $160 profit right there, just on those four sets. So we're definitely gonna grab those two. But I'm gonna take some time, I'm gonna scan and see what else I can find, and then I will get back to you guys. One eternity later. All right, let me show you guys where we're at so far. So we've got some Star Wars Lego sets. I grabbed this Batman Lego set. This is 30, normally 50. So that's a pretty good deal on that. I grabbed three of these Jurassic World ones right here, and we've already uh, figured out that those are going to be a $40 profit a piece. We've got three of those for a profit of $120 projected. And the one behind it was actually a different set, so we're not grabbing this set right here. So what I did was I actually put some of the sets sideways to make it a little easier on myself to show you guys. So this set, the Speed Champion sets, I don't actually buy a lot of Speed Champions, and I think I might be missing out because some of these sets right here are like really close to retirement or they are retired. Walmart's got them for 20% off right now. So it's not an amazing deal, but they're 16 bucks. And on Amazon, these are selling between like 30 and 35 bucks a piece already. So there already is some profit built into those right now. So I think for the first time, I'm actually gonna buy some of these Speed Champion sets to throw into the stockpile for next Q4. Because I mean, they're already profitable right now and they have nowhere to go but up. So if Lego's not making them anymore, I definitely think they're worth grabbing. So we're gonna grab some of those Speed Champion sets. But I'm gonna keep moving just so I can show you guys the other stuff that we're looking at. This set right here, this set is on sale for 20% off. So this is 16, normally 20. So not an amazing deal, but this is retired or retiring soon. And this already is showing a profit on Amazon as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up for you guys. So this is already selling for 32 bucks on Amazon. So it's like a, what, like a $7 profit-ish? I say 16, 696, boom, $7 profit. So not quite 50% profit, but I've sold Jurassic World sets before and they do really well, especially post-retirement. So I think I'm gonna grab some more of those for the stockpile. So we're definitely gonna grab some more of those. We've got some more Speed Champions that we need to grab as well. And we'll keep running down the list here just so I can kind of speed run it for you because I don't want this video to just drag on. I did scan all of this stuff. None of this is amazing. Some of these video sets are 10 to 12 bucks, but I'm not a huge fan of these for 10 to 12 bucks. I would rather pay five. I'm gonna leave those until they drop down to five and if somebody else gets them, somebody else gets them. Good for them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did find some Minecraft sets that are on clearance. This set right here, this is a $20 set, but I actually think that this is a, a little bit cheaper than right now. So this is like unmarked clearance. And I just found it just by going up and down the row and scanning everything. So it's showing 12 bucks in the store, 16 bucks online. And I do believe that this is uh, selling for a bit more on Amazon. So it is selling for 26 bucks. So I'm gonna pick these up for 12 and there's already some profit built into these. But again, like I said, I like to buy these and I like to hold them. So they're not actually gonna go anywhere for me for a little while, but I really like the Minecraft sets. So I'm gonna grab those, we'll put those into storage. This is another set right here. I'm trying to load up on these because I think this is gonna retire pretty quick. And this is on sale at Walmart for 16 bucks. This is the end battle, it's got the Enderman. And if you know anything about Minecraft, it's kind of a big deal. It's like the final boss fight or whatever. So it's 16 bucks here at Walmart. And whoop, on Amazon, it is selling for, let's see, 25, 
Nope, it's selling for 30 bucks right now, and it has a really good rank, and I'm pretty sure this is close to retirement. So I actually looked on Brick Economy, and they were estimating that this is past its retirement date. So this is probably going to retire soon as I make a big mess. So I'm going to load up on these for 16 bucks. That's kind of a speculative play on my part and try not to make a big mess but i'm gonna load up on these for 16 because i think these are going to do really well once they retire as i don't think minecraft is going anywhere but i do think the profits are going to be there for next christmas so i'm gonna load up on these minecraft ones right here and should we leave one back here yes because that's actually a different set <laughs> so Oh, uh, this is a different set too. This is the horse stable. So we don't want that one. We're going to go ahead and put that one back. So yeah, so we just got the end sets. I don't... Oh, there is one up there. So we'll have to get that one. But I don't really see too many more. This guy right here, this is on clearance for 12 This is normally a $20 set. I've already got a bunch of these, so I, I probably won't pick that up. It is a cool set though. I do like the Mario sets. This one is 30 It's normally 50 kind of on the fence because i do have a bunch of these in storage and it's kind of a big set so it's 40 percent off that's right within the margins that i like to buy so i may or may not grab those kind of on the fence about that i did scan pretty much the rest of this stuff and i don't see anything else that is worth grabbing from me so so far we're doing really good i've got a cart full of lego we already had a cart full of care bears i'm still going to grab some more lego to throw in here but overall, I think we're doing really good. We've got some quick flips. We've got some long-term investments. Very well-rounded uh, clearance pickup tonight. So hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you later. Looks like we've got a minute to kind of show you guys everything that we've got here. So I did grab a bunch of these Speed Champions. Uh, these are 16 apiece. These are, like I said, these are kind of a speculative play, but right now there's a small profit. Um, more Speed Champions. Got these Jurassic World Blue Laboratory. We got all of the Star Wars sets down there. We got more of the Minecraft sets down there. The End Battle. I think that was going to be a good one. So, overall, I think this is a pretty successful trip. So after the first shopping cart full of Care Bears and this shopping cart full of Lego, I think we're going to be over $1,000 today. We spent $140 on Care Bears, I think, and this is going to be over $900. So, yep, over $1,000 in one trip. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you later.